Good day, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to my uh, second in a series of tutorials. In the first tutorial, uh, you learned how to take your three view blueprint and break it out into its individual uh, views in top, front, and side. In this tutorial, you will take those three views and import them into 3D Studio Max to be used as reference drawings. So what we're going to do basically is create three planes which are basically two-dimensional objects and uh, assign each of those three view bitmaps that we created as the material on it so that you can use it as a reference when you're creating all of your different primitives. So, uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to create our planes. Uh, we're going to look at the top view, go to uh, create a plane and we're going to use keyboard entry here uh, because we know the length and the width that we want to use. Uh, we get that information from different sources on the internet. Uh, I've already done it for the Tudor aircraft that I'm creating in these tutorials. Uh, in this particular case it's got a length of uh, 32 feet, a width of 36 feet 6 inches, and a height of 7 feet 8 inches. So we're going to create our plane and it's going to be, of course the length as I stated is going to be 32 feet and our uh, width is 30 36 feet 6 inches and press create and you can see you create the plane then we do zoom extents all so that we can actually view it then we would go to our front view create our next plane uh, this one is uh, kind of important uh, in the top view the length and the width were exactly what we said but in the front view you'll notice that we still have length and width as our specifications but in this particular case length is always up and down uh, in these views but of course in the real aircraft in this case from the front view length is actually the height of the aircraft which is of course seven feet eight inches the width in this case is the width this would be wingtip to wingtip so that would be okay so we would go create and as you can see uh, everything is coming together in our perspective view now we would go to the left view. In this case, the length up and down is actually height of the aircraft, but because we're viewing it from the left, this would actually be front to back, which of course is length, which is going to be 32 feet, and we would then create our uh, third plane. Now, let's look at our perspective view. In this particular case, uh, everything is centered. Uh, personally, I don't prefer that. I actually prefer to have everything at its outer limits. For example, the top view all the way to the top, the left view all the way to the left, and the front view all the way to the front. So the easiest way that I've found to do that is actually to use the align. We would click on align, align it with this view here, move it out of the way so we can see it, and we would actually go to minimum, then maximum, in the Z axis. So as you can see, it moves up to the top. Then we would select this one. And once again, we align on the top view. And we would go to min, min, and then y. And it moves to the front. Now you notice this time the other view is actually hidden, so we can't really select it. So we go h to bring up a list of all of our objects. Select plane 3, because it's the third one. And align it with the top view. Go min, min and then X, and it moves to the where we want it. So now we have, basically looks like a box, but it's actually just three different planes already set up. So now what we'll do is we'll select the top view. Now what we're going to do is we're going to assign the uh, three view drawing bitmaps that we did in the previous tutorial, and we're going to assign them as materials to each of these planes. So we would bring up the material editor, select the first one. We would select a diffuse uh, parameter and we want a bitmap so we would double click on bitmap and we would wait for our thing to come up now we've got to select top view so our top view shows up we would assign material to selection and show map in viewport and as you can see it now shows up then we would select the front view go to here same thing, go to Diffuse, Bitmap, Front View, Assign to Selection, and Show in Bitmap. Then select the left view, select this material, Diffuse, Bitmap, 
left view, assign, and show in bitmap. Now we have them all three showed up. Now there is one parameter that I have uh, that I I forgot to change. Uh, if I select the top view, what I actually want to do is go to parent and select the opacity to approximately 50 percent. This will actually allow me to to see through it when I uh, do the rest of the tutorial. So now I select the next one, go to parent, select 50 percent, go to the next one, go to parent, select 50 percent. And now we have our perspective. You'll notice that in our front, our top front and left view, they don't show up. That's because I'm on wireframe mode. If I go to smooth and highlights, they will actually show up. Okay, so that's going to be the end of this tutorial. So that's basically how you get it into. You have to be used as reference drawings. That's the end of this tutorial. And uh, in the next tutorial, we will start creating the aircraft.